Democrat lawyer Lisa Bloom has been discovered paying Trump informers a great many dollars in trade out request to falsely blame the president for rape. The lady's correct attorney worked off camera to work a plan in which potential informers, paying little respect to their benefits, would be given cash, keeping in mind the end goal to go to the press with their questionable stories. Lisa Bloom's endeavors included offering to offer asserted casualties stories to TV outlets as a byproduct of a commission for herself, masterminding a benefactor to pay off one Trump informer's home loan and endeavoring to secure a six-figure installment for another lady who had last declined to approach in the wake of being offered as much as $750,000, the customers disclosed to The Hill. The Hill. ZeroHinge.com reports. The different records of Bloom's plan were nitty-gritty in archives, messages and instant messages assessed by The Hill, and go ahead the foot rear areas of Bill O'Reilly's claim that there is a mystery tape of a ladies who was offered $200,000 to document inappropriate behavior charges against Trump. It is obscure regardless of whether O'Reilly's claim is identified with Bloom's exercises. Sprout the little girl of dissident attorney Gloria Aurid who at first safeguarded Harvey Weinstein against rape charges not long ago and was freely disgraced by hostile to Trump entertainer Kathy Griffin, spoke to four ladies thinking about propelling affirmations against Trump a year ago. Two of the ladies opened up to the world, while the other two declined. Sprout says that the objective of her allegation process was to just raise assets to enable ladies to move or organize security in the event that they felt perilous amid the winding down days of a vitriolic race. With a commission to bloom as high as 33 percent, on the off chance that she could pitch their stories to media outlets. Our standard star bono understanding for legitimate administrations gives that if a media element offers to repay a customer for sharing his or her story we get a level of those charges. This seldom happens. Be that as it may, once in a while, a case produces media intrigue on now and then, not generally, a customer may get an appearance expense, said Bloom. One customer of Bloom's who got in cash was Trump and former Jill Harth who recorded an inappropriate behavior claim against Trump in 1997, however pulled back it after Trump settled a different claim from Hearth and her sweetheart for a firm break of agreement when Trump retreated from a business bargain. After Bloom started speaking to Hearth, she orchestrated a contributor to enable Hearth to pay off her Queen's New York contract, which was recorded as stifled on December 19, 2016. Sprout likewise organized a little installment from the authorizing of some photographs to the news media, at that point set up a GoFundMe page for Hearth's advantage which raised a little finished $2,300. Hearth keeps up Bloom's money-related motivations had nothing to do with her choice to reignite her cases. Nothing that you've said to me in regards to my home loan or the GoFundMe that was made to help me out fiscally influences the realities or the veracity of my 1997 government protestation against Donald J. Trump for inappropriate behavior and strike, Hearth revealed to The Hill. One lady who talked with The Hill under the state of namelessness said that she was companions with Bloom and Hearth, and said that Bloom never urged them to put forth false expressions. However their writings and messages show Bloom held a solid abhorrence of Trump, telling the potential Trump informer in one email that her story was additional proof of what a wiped-out predator this man is. Different records uncover that Bloom's endeavors to hawk informers increased as the 2016 race neared. 